Hey guys, this is Josh from the Music Tech Help Guy channel, and today we're up at Fine Cut Studios in Brooksville, Florida. In this video, I wanna show you the main three miking techniques that I use for recording vocals. For these examples, we're gonna talk about how the type of mic and the placement of the mic can affect the tonal characteristics of your recording. We'll also talk about how certain miking techniques work better for different types of vocalists. For all of these examples, I'll give both male and female vocal examples. One principle I want you to understand is the proximity effect. The proximity effect describes how distance or proximity to the microphone affects low frequencies in the recording. The closer you are to the mic, the more low frequency buildup you're gonna have. But this can result in problems with plosives, which are low frequency pops on P and B syllables. The highs will remain mostly unaffected by backing up or moving forward by a few inches, but the bass can be heavily affected by this. So now that you understand the proximity effect, you can play with miking distance to find a low frequency response that fits the particular singer you're working with. It's all highly subjective though. There isn't just one right way to do this. It's more about experimenting with mic placement and finding the tonal quality that you like. The first technique I use puts the singer's mouth directly on axis with the microphone and the singer is about six inches or further away from the mic. We also have a pop filter on the mic to prevent plosives. For this technique, we're using a Flea 47 tube condenser mic. One big mistake I see often when using condenser mics is the singer is placed too close to the mic. Pulling the singer back can help open up the sound a bit and helps prevent plosives. And it also helps the mic to not overload and to not overmodulate during louder passages. So let's hear some examples. Forgiveness, but after all of your lies and deception, you should expect some tension. I felt the calm before the storm, the clouds rolled and the thunder roared. I begged the rain to take you away and break these chains that left me enslaved. So I could run and find a place where I can be safe. Why do we always have to say goodbye? Do we always have to live and die? Can we live this life for each other? Well, so many times I've told you In so many ways I've shown you Why do we have to say goodbye? For the second technique, we're going to use a condenser mic again, but this time we'll pull the mic off axis from the singer's mouth. This colors the tone a bit differently, helps the recording to not be too sibilant, and also helps with plosives. In many sessions, I've been able to use this technique to avoid needing a pop filter altogether. Just like the first example, you can play with the mic distance as well. Forgiveness, but after all of your lies and deception, you should expect some tension. I felt the calm before the storm, the clouds rolled and the thunder roared. I begged the rain to take you away and break these chains that left me enslaved. So I could run and find a place where I can be safe. Why do we always have to say goodbye? Do we always have to live and die? Can we live this life for each other? Oh, so many times I've told you In so many ways I've shown you Why do we have to say goodbye? The third technique uses a dynamic mic closer up to the singer. I find this most useful with more aggressive rock and rap vocals where you want the vocals up front but you don't want to put the vocalist too close to a condenser mic. I've actually found this technique surprisingly useful for many different situations and voice types. Forgiveness, but after all of your lies and deception, you should expect some tension. I felt the calm before the storm, the clouds rolled and the thunder roared. I begged the rain to take you away and break these chains that left me enslaved. So I could run and find a place where I can be safe. Why do we always have to say goodbye? Do we always have to live and die? Can we live this life for each other? Well, so many times I've told you 
In so many ways I've shown you What do we have to say goodbye? One last consideration I want to add at the end here is the type of condenser mic you choose for techniques one and two. Condenser mics come in a wide variety of types. For these examples, we used a Flea 47, which is a tube condenser mic that models the classic Telefunken U47 tube mic. Tube mics tend to be a bit warmer and more smooth in the high end. Solid state mics, like the AKG C414, are going to be a bit brighter sounding, but less colored and more detailed than the tube mic. So let's listen to a couple examples of these two condenser mics back to back. Forgiveness, but after all of your lies and deception, you should expect some tension. I felt the calm for the storm, the clouds rolled in the thunder roared. But after all of your lies and deception, you should expect some tension. I felt the calm before the storm, the clouds rolled in the thunder roared. I begged the rain to take you away and break these chains that left me enslaved. So I grew one and find a place where I can be safe. With the tube mic, I make sure to hang the mic upside down. This is because the tube generates heat, and if upright, the heat will rise and warm up the capsule, and this can alter the tone. Also, the singer's breath can cause condensation on the capsule this way. Hanging the mic upside down prevents these issues. All right, so I hope this video is informative. Just remember that there's not just one single correct way to do this. Audio and music production is an extremely subjective field, and there's more than one right way to do it. Again, it's more about experimenting with the rules and finding a tone that you like. Please leave us a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this, as well as hundreds of tutorials for audio and music production. Also consider making a monthly contribution through Patreon, which helps keep this channel up and running. Thanks for the support and thanks for watching.